I'm going to quickly show you how you can split parts of an object into separate objects and then also how to put objects together. Uh, so we're starting with the default scene here. I'm going to split the view like so. I'll make this my camera view and I'm going to put this just as a top view for now. Uh, now if I hit tab to go into edit mode I have that cube selected. I can hit control tab and choose uh, what area I want to uh, choose from. Right now we're on uh, vertices and you can choose edges but I'm going to choose faces and I'm going to choose this side face, this front face right here. And what I'm going to press is I'm just going to hit the P key and you can have a different uh, things to choose from but I'm going to uh, separate the selected. So now you'll notice uh, if I grab the cube you'll see that I separated that face. It is now uh, a separate object all of its own. Um, now and the counter way if I wanted to uh, I could now choose one object and then shift select the other object and I can hit control J and this is join selected meshes and now that I did that they are now one object again but something you have to be careful of if I switch back to vertices mode here I can grab this and you can see that that vertice right there on the front face isn't connected to uh, the vertice that's still on the cube. So instead of having uh, eight points, we actually have, what, 12 points. So the way to do that is they're occupying the same space right now. So what I can do is I can select all and I can hit W and I can choose remove doubles. And it says there's four of them. And that would be, I'll select that, were these one, two, three, four, because there were two vertices in each of those spots. Now, that's not something you have to do, but it all depends on what you're doing. But now you can see this is one vertice now, not two separate. So we've not only joined the objects back together, we joined that face back to the cube. Um, now, another thing you can look at while doing this, I'm going to go back in the face mode. I'll select this face. I'll hit delete. Uh, and it gives me options on what I want to delete. And in this case, I'm going to delete the face. So it leaves those vertices. If I was to delete the vertices, we would actually just have one flat plane there. But I can go, uh, once again, control tab. I'll go back into vertices mode. And in the top view here, I will select, I'll sit B and I'll box select. So I have all four of these front selected. And I'm just going to show you something here real easy if you want to make a triangle, but I'm just going to show you. If I want to, I can hit S for scale, and you can see I can scale this in and out. But what I can also do is I can hit zero, and that moves them all straight to that center point. And I can click, so now they're all in one spot, but they're all still separate vertices. So you can see if I can grab one, it's, it's not connected to the other three that are there, because there's four all in that one spot. What I'm going to do is I am going to box select all of them. They're all located in the same exact spot right now. I'm once again going to hit W, remove doubles. It says there's three that it's going to remove because there's four all together, but it's going to leave one in place of all four of those. And now if I select that and I grab it, you can see it moves that whole section there because it is now just one vertices. Um, something to think of when you're joining objects. As you can see, I can just add a something like a, a circle, or I'll show add a UV sphere in this case. I'll grab it and I'll shift select and once again control J to join and I'll select them and now they are one object. You can see as I move them around. But if I was to add something like a curve, I'll add this uh, circle here. So you can see the circle I have here. I can shift select that object if I hit control J and join meshes, it doesn't actually join them. See how they're still separate? The reason for that is these objects, or now one object, uh, are a mesh, while this is a path or a curve. If you want to join this path uh, to uh, the mesh object, you're going to have to select it, go to Object, and we're going to convert Object Type. You can also use Alt-C, and we're going to convert it to a mesh. Now, you can see how it changed in the top view here. It's now a circle. It's not a circle. It's actually got faces and stuff to it. We can shift select, control J, join meshes, and you can see they are now joined. So remember to join objects. They have to be the same type of object in, 
In many cases, you want them to be meshes in the end product, depending on what you're doing. And when in edit mode, to separate something, so once again, I'll just Spock select some of this. You can hit P, and I am going to select use the selected. And now you can see that part that I had selected is a separate object. And to rejoin, you, select, you shift select the objects you want to join, control J, join meshes. And once again, these are not still not connected. They're connected as an object, but not as a, uh, a full, the vertices aren't connected. So once again, I can just select all. I'll hit W, remove duplicates. In this case, there's it's going to remove 64 on that circle. And now those vertices that we had are connected. So I hope you found this useful. And uh, I hope you have a great day. Visit filmsbychris.com for more video tutorials like this.